Okay, so yeah, hi everyone once again. Good morning, good afternoon. So depending on where you're joining from, so good evening. Um, so it's actually morning in Lagos, Nigeria. So and it's nice to connect with everyone. So this is our chaos by weekly call, and um we sort of do this by weekly to sync with um designers, you know. Just have general chat about chaos work and off chaos work if necessary, and um also connect and network with uh, one another. I think it's also like pretty much a good forum to, you know. So if you're working in a company and there's also probably an opening, and then maybe it's a space you can also share, right? And um opportunities, if you probably also have access to opportunities, you can also share it yeah, you like in the community and then you know someone gets who also might be in need of that, right? Um so um I think I'm just gonna start off on with the start off with this, right? And that um KS Africa is two years old and um it's really been a run since um 2022 and um i think um about that 2022 um that was when i i became the design maintainer right and um and then it's really been a ride and um remarkably the fact that the design working group in the past two years have been able to um pull a project um, the DI badging project. I know Joseph contributed to that project. I'm not sure Maya met the project while actively ongoing. Um, but it doesn't, it's still up for contribution anyways, but we don't really have so much actively like we did back a couple of months back. So um so DI badging project is live. Um okay. So the DI badging project is live, which we pretty much are aware of, right? And the Chaos Badging Initiative, right, is an initiative by Chaos, right, to acknowledge, you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion, right, in the open source ecosystem. And one of the ways um, Chaos is able to do that is through the DI, awarding DI badges, right, to um, events, you know, honors, and also projects uh, honors right so you have di um you have event badging and you also have a uh, project badging so um so before now um okay we didn't have um, a website right a platform that hosts that um though currently what we still have on the platform is that when uh, maybe an event owner wants to apply for a badge i think this is probably going to open up an issue on github uh github repository but this is a simple page that gives you a brief on um um the event badging project badging questions you might want to have and all that and it's kind of a cool project right with github as founding partner and gitlab as a uh, uh, contributing partners so really thumbs up to everyone that contributed to that right um lami i know i also really like made some huge contribution to this this was actually like my very first official project uh besides um ui projects anyways uh, besides the visual branding designs uh, you know that i did so and then um in the space of these two years, right, uh, one of that project, which I also want to talk about, and some of the modifications, right, that um, uh, that are up on that project, right, um, is the Alphos project. So Alphos project is the second project. Um, well, not um, not in any particular order, anyway, because I probably want to mention um, ah. Uh, no, I can't forget this, but let me just go, go over project. So in the past two years, we've worked on DI badging, right? Uh, Chaos DI badging initiative and then Alphos project. Now, um, Alphos project was originally um, a, a GitHub project in partnership with Chaos Africa, right? And um, then after the old partnership, I think we felt so the need to um, maintain, you know, that project. Um, so, 
So uh, one other thing that also leads me to the point that um, several calls we've had, we we probably had this whole deliberation around um, um, the dashboard and and all that. So um, and I think um, I did mention that. I did mention that. Um, who is this person? I did mention that Desmond right met suggestions because I, I think we had issues around you know uh, deciding on whether using a Google form or a dashboard was a better design option to do, which I know uh, certainly Maya has been doing good work, you know, working on the dashboard. But sadly, I think um we are not gonna use the dashboard anymore. Um because um the dev right met a suggestion and um I'm gonna share the link so that as I you know share this maybe you both can walk along with me. Give me a moment. Hello, Felix, welcome. Okay, so, um, that's our first project. So if you notice um, the live platform, it's just a static web, you know, you can interact with C, right? Because nothing has actually been connected on the backend. So, so it's basically the UI that has been implemented. And um, I really think like um, we need to, just the same way, of course, um, DI badging is live, actively being used and all that. I think we have over 65 batch projects and we have five, but, uh, 165 batch event. We have five batch project. Um, and people are interacting with it and all that. So I think um this is half force is actually for uh, the African open source ecosystem, right? And um hopefully in the forthcoming um Chaos Con Africa, this might also be a great project to highlight, right? So um um, I think we can also push to, you know, complete this, right, so that people can actively be using it. It's good enough we have these landing pages up. And then I know project uh, designs like the project page. Um, I have to confirm if this has been done about us page, you know. I don't think community is necessary, right? That's if you... Going along with me, um, I have the page open here on my screen, anyways. And um, so the suggestion um this person made, Desmond made, which sort of makes sense to me is um um so if you check right on the landing page, you know um, event administrators and um admins right can uh, and maintainers can submit their open source project. No, I'm not presenting at the moment. Um, give me a second. Okay. Let me share my screen. I think um these guys made this full with um just stretch this across my screen. Hello, can you all see my screen? Hello? Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to... Okay, so uh, I'm just, I'm sure you're seeing the right screen anyways. <laughs> um, I was a bit confused if I was sharing the right screen. 
Okay, so this is our first project, right? Um, so Mesomad is a project. I think uh, a while ago you asked if the project was live. So the project, yes, the project is live, but um, like I mentioned, some of these ants linked at all. The buttons are just there, dummy, right? Not clickable. And most of the things you all design in Otis. So this was implemented by uh, the front end guys. Um, okay, I think we find a way to link this to GitHub. Exactly. So you see, not all these projects will be will actually be linked to a live website. So if some of these projects are hosted on GitHub, right? So when you click, it will just take you to the GitHub uh, repository. So what um, Desmond um, suggests that this sort of makes sense to me is, um, so as a project maintainer or administrator, right? So when I click on submit project, submit project is, um, I want to add a project like one of these, right? To this platform. So when I click on this, right? It's gonna open an issue on GitHub. Right. So if you've ever created an issue on GitHub, so it's going to open an issue on GitHub, right? So where the project maintainer can, you know, provide this information, you know, the name of the project and project information and all that. So all the Athos um, admin has to do, right, is to go through the issue that has been created on GitHub, right? Once he or she goes through and review, you know, um, I review the issue that's been created by the maintainer, right? And then I prove that the project is going to reflect here, right, on the website. So technically, um, the database is kind of like posted on GitHub, right? And um, we don't have need to start building an external um dashboard at least for now. Right, um, because basically what we are doing is just accepting, reviewing, accepting project, and that being hosted here, and then the project reflects on the website. So I, I think, um, I think that way, maybe I would just say a primary work here is sort of like done, done because one, um, I don't think we we'll, we would have to create. Um, I don't think there's even a need, based on this approach, I don't think there's even a need for, um, I'm just keeping my eye on. Yeah, 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 my summer. So I think we just have to confirm pages like, um, good enough, I think um, this person I saw Felix there. Yeah. So Felix, I think you're gonna confirm if we have this um, pages available, if we have the Afos, about us page and project page, if we have these pages available, I'm not so sure if you will have need for this community at the moment, right? So uh, find a project, most likely, you know, redirect you to the project page. So there's no need for, the users can subscribe. I really don't know why these things are bold, probably should be just regular. But that's by the way, so, um. So that being said, I, I think what uh, this month so just said is just really gonna make our work and our life very easy. I know I did mention to Jiro that uh, she should create maybe like a form when a user you know clicks on some project. I don't know if this copy is right. Maybe someone can also make um suggestions. You know, submit project just looks like maybe I feel the form. I'm just click into submit or something. I just feel that way. Um. Okay, so our first project, right, is a second project we've worked on, right? And then um, um, yet to kind of like uh, complete anyways. Um, so I think, um, so Felix, I'm gonna ask, uh, do we still have, um, what's the status of the project and the about us page? Any idea if this is completed on Figma? Hello? Okay, um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. 
Okay. Um, so for now, I know we have the, the design ready for the project page, right? And uh, but the about us, I'm not, I'm not sure. But we don't have that for now. Um, but what we were kind of um, because the whole had to submit uh, stuff and the uh, and the uh, view or recall information puts um, had kind of a kind of distorted how we wanted to continue with the project page. Because now, um, since you spoke about uh, using the uh, what's it called the GitHub stuff to submit, right? The which, which we serve as database. Um, so because after the project, they still need for for that page, which was supposed to be where you can view information about the project. So I think that is that is one of the things that um, the how to submit projects was kind of uh, holding back. So I don't know if that is still possible for them to view um what's it called those about about the project where they can see the maintainers or will it still I kind of don't know how the GitHub stuff work. I'm not too familiar with how that does it allow submission of uh, because I know when they are submitting one of the things they are supposed to submit is the logo right of the uh, I know there's there should be one or two images that is if we are still going with the original plan that is what they need to be submitted which is on the PLT. So I kind of I know we have the projects ready, but the about us we don't have it for now. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Felix, for that feedback. And um yeah, you also write with um some of the questions you're asking. That's the right questions about um the project submission and then if users be able to submit images and stuff. I wish I I, I could have um we had this guy on this call this month. Um okay, but that also also uh, brings me back to the fact that uh, we may not, you know, it also depends anyways. Um for example, let me see if I can if I can point us to something. This, eh? this, yeah, and the work. Okay. Um, I wanted to show something. Yeah, but obviously it's not working the way I expected. So um okay, let me try for this guy. So okay, so um now before this website, this um DI badging website was created, right? Um chaos. So if you go to KS um and GitHub, I want to walk us through something. Um, let's see if I can move my stuff. Uh, repositories, and then you have um. Let me see. Um, ah, I can't really forget this stuff. Give me a moment, please. Okay, no, it's not here, yeah, it's on. Uh, it's 
spudging by chaos, probably events, yeah. Event diversity and inclusion, I think is a repository. Um, yep. Okay, yeah. So I don't know if we all can see my screen. Can see see my screen. So um so event budget has been going on for a while, right? Can you see my screen? So event budget has been yeah, on. I can. yeah, yeah. Okay, so event budget has been on for a while, right? And um so so when a user the way it was done is that um most users i think they had to submit their information via the github issue i think the same um github issue and then um, when that is being reviewed and all um the this stuff is being displayed on a table right you can see on github so if you click um let's say open source in France from London, probably one of the events that, you know, um, uh, has been assigned a badge, reviewers, um, uh, Anita and this other person, right? So the point is, um, if we decide to use these routes, right? If we decide to use this concept, it, it means, um, um, our project stable because since most of this project, it's still a conversation I have with um Desmond. Like I said, I wish I could have him on the call, but I probably wouldn't just keep the conversation pending till when he has time, right, to jump on a call with us. But then I'll still have a conversation with him and then um see where this leads. So if we have a project, if you choose to use um GitHub, right, say you 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 submit a project and it opens an issue on GitHub, right? Um, I think we can still have that submit. I will still confirm the specifics from him. We can have that submit form, right? So when you click on submit form on our first page, so it's going to create this thing. And then you, you impute the information about your project and then it's going to open. So when you click on submit, it automatically opens an issue, right? On our first, you know, repository, it's going to open an issue where the project uh, maintainer, um, the Athos project maintainer is going to go through, you know, and then um, merge kind of like once that issue is being merged, like a PR or something, once it's being merged and uh, it, it will be reflected on probably something, a table like this, a project table like this on GitHub, where um, you will now have to see, but then, like I said, I'll have to confirm um, I have to make necessary confirmation from um uh, this person. What's his name again? Um, this one, right? To be sure on the flow of that, but I think it's also great to know that um the project page right is actually available. So just in case we need that, I think every other basic pages we need are actually you know ready. Um, so that's for Athos project and um and uh, Todd is um the Ogo project is ongoing, right? Some pretty much cool stuff. I don't really want to go deep into it, but Athos website, we know. <laughs> Let me just show us. So just in case you probably Athos, I say Athos, um Ogo. Let me show us. This is the website that's currently being redesigned. Right, so you can see how very awesome the UI is, and we are trying to make it much better. Uh, so we are trying to improve the overall experience, and um, like lots and lots of work is being done. Lots of data visual visualization work is being done, and and some illustrations and stuff. I know I just contributed to this, you know, an aspect of data illustration. You know, and just probably a few other things, but most of the major work has been done by Lamy, I think Emmanuel also. So, um, so I would say that in two years, right, um, we've met some very good progress, right? We've made some very good progress, and the fact that um, 
In fact, everyone on this call joining within the space of these two years, and uh, it's really been cool, right, to have um you all show up constantly on a call. And I know Lamy or oh, Maya is always having a conflicting call. Regardless, she also really do make up time to join the call, sync, and know what's happening. And it's really cool, right? And also just to mention that, you know, you can also talk about some of these projects you've contributed to or you've worked on on your personal space, right? Um, maybe on your CV or resume, as the case may be. And uh, you can mention, right, projects you contributed to, you know, sometimes the impact of this project and, um, and in the open source space, right? Um, so I'm just going to do a quick one right now. Um, I don't know if you can speak Ruben. Um, so Ruben is actually one of the new uh, designers that just joined us recently. And um, Ruben, can you speak? Hello? Can anyone hear him? Hello? Yeah, hello, I can hear you now. Hi. Okay. I can speak to him. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Um, so Ruben, this is Chaos, right? So Chaos is um community health analytics open source software, right? Um yeah, yeah so I, I know I did I point you to a pin tweet on a pin message on Slack, and yeah. actually to go through it. And I think that document sort of give there is one document there that just gives the background of what chaos is, right? And then there yeah. are other the other pin tweets, for right? uh, pin messages. Oh, please, the other pin messages, right? For example, I think Felix pin Afos, right? To so some of this project I'm talking about, we most likely would have yeah. seen them pin to Slack. And I think all go to if you also go through in detail, you see that, and um, I'm not sure the badging is pin anyway. So um, so basically um, the. Um, the core part of what we do, right, at Chaos, right, is actually promoting um, diversity, e e equity, and inclusion in open source ecosystem. And this reflects on all the projects we are working on. For example, I talk about um, our first project reflects inclusivity, right? A lot of, you know, open source projects here in Africa, a lot of projects open source related, for example, personally, I'm actually working on a personal open source project, right? But most times these projects are just lost, right? In the thin air and um, they are out there, but people don't really know about them, for example. And then um, you also have a lot of Africans, right? You know, scrambling for open source projects to contribute to. Meanwhile, these projects are out there. So this is about inclusivity, right? Uh, spotlighting and showcasing more open source projects. And um, when you look at um, the DI badge initiative too by GitHub, right, it's also to improve uh, in, uh, promote um, inclusion, right? For example, um, we, um, our last um, in-person event, right, um, was uh, in partnership with, um, I think, Project Enabled, yeah, yeah in, in, in Lagos. Right. Yeah. I, I personally spoke at that event. So it was event primarily for people with disability. That right. Is, yeah. yeah. I follow so, you. Oh, 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 yeah, that's pretty cool. So like for me personally, that was actually my first experience speaking to, you know, most of them. I think some were blind, right? Some dev and all that. And I saw inclusion in a different light, right? And um, yeah, I've been talking about it as a product designer, you know, designing for accessibility and all that, but it was just different, you know, speaking with, you know, people, the primary audience was people with disability. So, so everything I was saying was being interpreted, you know, by, you know, a, a sign interpreter and all that. So 
you know, so you now see that everything we're doing, right, um, both on the project, you know, reflects, you know, diversity, reflects in inclusion, you know, and must be equitable and all that. So, well, like I mentioned, the DI badging project, the AFOS project, which I also mentioned, and then OGO, right? OGO, it's more about tracking open source contributions made by uh, contributors on GitHub. Um, it's the best of my knowledge right now, anyway. So um, that's um, also metrics, right? Getting these metrics. I, I believe uh, with the right data, right? Um, much better decisions are being made. So, so, um, so the open source maintainer can get, you know, this data, these metrics, and then probably, you know, make certain decisions on based on the metrics that, that has been gotten, you know. So that's um one of the primary purpose of um Ogo. So you're welcome. And then um I also have to mention that uh, the project is not limited to product design. I I know a lot of persons come in and they just want to push pixels around. So you can contribute for example the recently the events you said you just followed the way i contributed to the events is also by designing making some visual design to the event for the event and also um offering to speak at the events right so these are also different form of contributions you can do so just getting involved right there's an event and you see oh probably there's something i know best i'll probably love to share or talk about Right. That's also a way to contribute to the community. Um, it's not just all, all about designing. So as much as you're contributing via design, you also have to make sure that there's something about, there's a part of you that you're also trying to build and grow while also in the community. So while you're building the community by way of contributing in design-wise, then the community too should also be building an aspect of you. Right. So I know that my I, I when I joined after I joined uh, chaos I I just started getting a lot of you know speaking engagements you know like a lot of uh, Twitter spaces prior to um, chaos I'm not sure I I was hosted or I spoke on any Twitter space but I did several of that you know after I joined chaos you know. And a lot of other in person, you know, uh, speaking events. So I would also say that Chaos also really contributed to that part of me, right? So you're welcome once again. And I don't know if you have questions, right? Um, you can ask. Okay. Um. Yeah. First of all, I want to say thank you for accepting me to the space. It's a great pleasure for someone that. Um. I've always loved helping. I'm a member of the Boys Brigade, the voluntary organization. So it's not really a new thing for me getting into projects for community service and stuff like that. So I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity. I I have gone through the post you gave to me. And first of all, thank also and also sorry, thank you for your let's say your guidance to, for me to talk around the, the space. I really appreciate that. It helped me to settle down a little bit faster. Thank you. Uh, you you dropped a new link today for the ongoing project. Uh, after work today, I'll go through it. Right now, as work. I'll go through it. Then any contribution I need, for sure, I'll let you know. Uh, so okay, that's that's great. Thank you so much, Robert. Um, one other question I want to ask, uh, just in case I missed it. Um, um, besides product design, um, do you do visual design too, or just solely product design? Mm, I don't do visual design, but it's something I'm learning gradually, but I'm not done. So I want to say I do it. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. No pressure. So I was only asking, you know, um, sometimes we 
just also have like um, other visual brand identity design needs and all that. So also trying to build uh, this thing on that. So I know who I can always easily uh, reach out to. Okay, so, so um, before before August, I should be done with my course on that. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, Maya, we can Maya. You're learning illustration. Yeah. Well, you know my what my advice would be: don't overthink it, right? <laughs> Um and we can think probably anytime you're free, probably will have um a one on one call. So probably I can walk you through anything on. No. Um, yeah, yeah, Ruben. I'm 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 actually referring to Maya now. She okay. just dropped a message that she's learning um illustration. Also, Ruben, actually. So I also do right. I I do visual design, right? So. So if you also need, um, besides Figma, though I get to find myself using Figma a lot for most of my design these days, I my design really started with InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, Curl Draw. So I've actually, you know, played around and used those tools actively, right? I once worked at an agency and stuff, so needed to do all those, you know, sometimes uh, layout design and all that. So, um, so Ribbon, if you also kind of like, Maybe some questions and stuff. Though I don't actively do. Okay, so though I I don't I don't actively do this thing these days anymore. So, but for illustration, it's quite a, quite interesting, Maya, because personally, I think um, <laughs> I probably used to overthink it, right? But these days, it's more like I want to do something, right? And I just go ahead and do it. Like illustration, I don't think there's kind of like a standard way. I know people kind of like do things on, except maybe you're looking at isometric illustration and all that. That's just a little bit, you know, it might just get a little bit complex. But if you just want to do like simple plane, for example, I, I worked on a couple of, stuff recently in fact the easiest way to make an illustration is always have a reference references you could look up online any picture you like right and then pick the picture and then try to you know recreate it and all that then it doesn't have to be 100 percent so and um when it's also project based it's interesting i've worked on some stuff that are just project based i never believed i could like actually make that illustration but because I don't know. I just thought of it. It's not something I would have just recreated it. So don't overthink it and all that. You can use Illustrator. You can use Figma to recreate it and they're all cool and all that. So pretty interesting to hear. Um, in fact, um, our Ogor, rather, so Ogor project needed, I think I did mention it here yeah, that we needed an illustration. But I didn't get feedback, so I had to jump on it. I, I did for... Uh, desktop right so we need something for mobile just the same illustration though but it's probably just retaking it to mobile um size and all that so that's really cool so i really want us to kind of like play around stuff like this i in in some good days i also double with um after effects i do some simple cool animations and stuff so so just playing around, it, it just gives you um, a variety of options to jump on things and contribute. So it's not like you just have to limit your this thing to. Um, and for me, I'm just kind of like that person where I just randomly, I, I kind of like I'm lazy, but if something is project based and I really want this on this project, that's kind of like says that's a springboard to uh, my learning curve, probably just make me learn faster. But maybe just I'm just randomly learning something. You no, know, that would probably be difficult. So yeah. most of sorry. Sorry for cutting. I said I'm about going about my lunch time is So I'll be on the call more. Okay, okay. Okay, it's cool. Um we will actually be running up like any time from now. So just having a little side chat. So it's cool, it's fine. Okay. So yeah. So okay, and um Maya, you also mentioned something um that you wanted aside design. Yeah, it's 
um it's also something i'm really looking forward to seeing um maybe um we just have to plan towards it uh maybe we could also start with the twitter space one of these months so um i know a couple of designers too that have reached out like okay that they wanted an opportunity to you know also speak which i think it's also a good thing right and um most importantly as a non-technical contributor a lot of non-technical contributors out there uh, non-technical guys out there and uh, thinking still looking out for projects to contribute to and then how to do, how can i go about that and all that so trust me you have not enough experience to share or any other thing you want to talk about so we're just going to work towards i'll probably discuss with ruth and um, let's work towards uh, this thing to also create the opportunity for you know like People like you to also put themselves out there, talk, speak, speak, speak. Um, I honestly, that's also one of the fastest ways to also grow in this space, right? Uh, I know pretty much everybody is focusing on design, or it's also an aspect, you know, of you also want to grow. So, personally, I'm a shy person. Yeah, so I don't believe that for once, but um engagements like this, it's something that is actually, you know, just bring out the best in me. I literally find myself even I don't know people experience this fright while on the stage. I'm even frightened even on a virtual call <laughs> when no one sees me as still even I didn't go to talk but but then um contributing to open source and putting myself out there right through speaking constantly is something that's given me that boldness and stuff to keep on showing up and all but no one is probably gonna believe that yeah that has ever happened to me so it taught me actually what it is so thank you thank you everyone thank you everyone um thank you felix for coming on board on the call and also being active right felix has been super amazing thank you maya too for always showing up even when most times most of the meetings you don't talk but thank you so much for always showing up thank you Ruben. looking forward to the amazing contributions you'll be making and um, I also share my feedback to get back to you all on um, when I have uh, the discussion. I think that's the action point. I'll get back to you all when I have a meeting with um, um, uh, Desmond. Hopefully, I'm going to have dropped just the feedback on the Slack. So we won't have to wait for another two weeks to get the feedback from me. So I don't know if we have any other like contributions, suggestions, or last words. So we can cut it today. Okay, um, I just want to say, <laughs> excuse me, um, the, I don't know if it's possible, um, I would also like to be on the, to be on the call with, uh, with this one, I think I will be available for any time, if that is possible, but that is, that is that just, oh, oh, sorry. okay, okay, so, I'm going to reach out to this one. No way. You just agree on a suitable time, a favorable time. Let me know a time that works for me. That will also communicate to you so I can loop you in on the call. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. And um.